All the products and chemicals used in this video can be found on my website. Details are in the description. Hey, now, who's the best mobile detail? Does it really matter? Is it a matter of opinion, or is it something that we all say about ourselves? And it's okay to call yourself the best, but does being the best really matter? What we all see on social media are mobile detailers showing off their results, products, and equipment. But let's be honest, a 30 second clip of a detailer pan across a freshly waxed vehicle isn't enough evidence to say that he's the best but check this out every post that any detailer posts on any social media platform looks damn near perfect myself included but i don't want to be the best i'm a master at this Ten thousand hours of blood sweat and sleepless nights put me in this position and it changed my outlook on the industry just being a great detailer isn't enough in this industry you have to be the total package you have to be great at advertising, marketing, customer service, account, time management, and that's just to name a few. You can polish the hell out of a vehicle, but can you get a customer? And I ain't talking about family and friends either. Can you evolve or will you get to a certain level and stop? Do you have a network or a team of like-minded individuals? Instead of focusing on being the best detailer, you can use that energy for establishing a network. Networks share info, resources, ideas, support, and your network will hold you to your goals. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to let you guys know, go and join the New Wave Facebook group by ANA. It's called New Wave by ANA. It's a Facebook group. Go to Facebook, search New Wave by ANA, and you're going to see this logo pop up, New Wave. It's going to have my logo right there in the center, so you know it's the right page. You know, ask for permission to join. I'm accepting everybody. I want to see people in Australia. I want to see what y'all doing in the UK, Germany, like across the world, across the nation as well. I want to see everybody. I want to know what you guys are using, what products you're using. Show off your work. If all you want to do is just show off, do that. I don't care. I want to just see paint, you know, bolts, pressure washing, lawn care, everything, man. So don't forget to join, man. Shouts out to the new way. Peace. When 
I said I'm a master at this, I wasn't talking about being a master detailer. What I'm saying is that I'm a master in the detailing industry, which means I'm above average on the majority of most aspects in the industry, and I'm learning more every day. You can call yourself the best detailer, but are you willing to expand your business to other cities or states? I mean, from what I see, you're the man in your state, so can you be the man in another state? Or start a detailing business a couple of cities over? Detailing work for me in Mississippi, but can I get it popping in Louisiana, North Carolina, or Florida? A lot of you guys are meeting other detailers via social media, but what I see is that people are trying to build a connection over Wi-Fi and phone conversations. Take a trip, shake hands, get some money together, and partner up, and bring something to the table. You're running a business, right? So that makes you a businessman, right? Businessmen take trips. Businessmen connect with other businessmen. You can call yourself whatever you want. But if others aren't calling you that, you gotta ask yourself, does it really matter what I call myself? I'm not saying you aren't who you say you are, but I'm trying to force you to think. What are we doing here? Sharing videos and photos of our work? It's cool, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I built a platform where 800 detailers meet daily. We now refer to that as the New Wave Facebook group. The New Wave can be your network. It all depends on how you look at it. Make a connection, and I don't mean an internet connection. If you say you're the best, Be the best, you gotta give and expect nothing in return. Take advantage of sharing your resources and be the guy that always has something to offer. Let's take me for example. I drop these videos to teach, motivate, and inspire you, and I spend a significant time doing so. I've created the New Way platform where you guys have access to other details. I've also coached up and coming details for free to help them grow their business, of course. That's me giving back to you guys. I've been doing this for the past five years, and I didn't expect anything in return, but I did meet some cool people that brought their resources to the table and elevated me to another level. If you want to be great, you got to give. One of the biggest things I've learned is to be creative. That's what I learned from the people I've actually met on YouTube. A creative mind brought you videos like this one. My creativity is bigger than any video. YouTube videos isn't the only part of my creativity. I keep telling you guys that it's bigger than detailing. It's more than scrubbing rims or tires. We all have a creative side, but fear won't allow us to show it. Fear is the friend of any good and reasonable businessman. Fear keeps us on our toes. But see, here's the thing. A coward and a hero both have fear. The difference is, is what the hero does and what the coward
how it does it do. Spider-Fi.